Greetings, royal family. We back for another video. Did you miss me? All right, I couldn't find my blue sweater, but we're going to deal with these basketball wives real quick. All right, hope you're having a good day. Kick back, relax. Let's talk about it. First of all, I just think that each and every one of these ladies, with a few exceptions, you guys are all phony. And you guys are reaching, I mean, really reaching, like reach out and touch reaching just to have camera time and a storyline. I was extremely confused and I have a, some word, a word of advice for my girl, Phoebe. So show opens up. We see Shawnee with her son, uh, embarking on some real estate ventures. Fine. Kudos to you. Um, her son is doing well, thank goodness, you know, thank God that her son is doing well. He's recovering. Um, he's just basically, he got cleared to uh, be back to play, like, playing basketball. So he's good. His health is good. He was doing a little bit of strengthening, conditioning, and things like that to get him back in the game. So we're definitely glad to see um, Sharif. Is that his name? Sharif. We're glad to see that he's like, you know, up, mobile, and just getting back to business because he did have open heart surgery. So thank God that he is perfectly fine. He is okay. Moving on to the next scene. Um, we see Tammy. Tammy wants to embark on... <laughs> Tammy wants to... She wants to tap into the whole music industry. So she wants to be a rapper. Um, she wants to learn some moves and dances. So... Her and Jazz, which is her daughter, they go visit Yo-Yo. Now, I'm confused. Maybe this is the only time we're going to see Yo-Yo, but I thought Yo-Yo was on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, or she's supposed to be. Yo-Yo is out here doing her thing. First of all, she looks great. That's hip-hop royalty right there. So it's good to see It's good to see Yo-Yo, you know, working. She got her little dance studio, so she's doing her thing. Shout out to the legends. So Tammy is just trying to, like, you know, find this sexy personality, her alter ego. I forgot what she said. Tatiana Trill or something like that. So it's really good to see that Tammy is like dipping her toe into, you know, um, all areas of the entertainment industry, not just acting. So we wish her well. Now, Tammy, OG, and uh, Jackie sit down for a little mini Ponderosa, right? So Tammy shows up with her, you know, gold eye patches, honey, with collagen and vitamin E. OG is training Jackie, trying to get her fit and back in shape. So they sit down at Jackie's house, I think it was. Yes, at Jackie's house. And they are telling, they're filling Tammy in on the goings on, uh, on the trip that happened in San Francisco. Now, I'm so glad that Tammy was on this episode because in my last review, I said, I know if Tammy was there, she would have called Jackie out for being phony, like, or not speaking up for OG. And they touched on that. You know, Jackie, she is really someone different when she's around Tammy versus when she's not around Tammy. And I know that Tammy loves her and I know that Jackie definitely loves Tammy, but it seems that Tammy holds Jackie accountable. So she just, Jackie just feels like, you know, I have to confess. I, 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 you know, it's almost as if she's like, she's guilty. So she confesses, you know what I mean? Cause she knows Tammy's going to reprimand her. So they're talking and Tammy is making it very clear that she has no intention on repairing anything with Jennifer. Like Malaysia's the same way. Malaysia's like, look, I don't care who she made up with. That's good for her, but I have no intention on you know what I mean? Rekindling or repairing anything. I, I want no parts of her. And I ha will say this about Malaysia, even though she's being a little bit messy and causing a little bit confu a little bit of confusion this season so far, I will say this. Malaysia has never been phony. Like, it is what it is with her. Like, if she says something, she means it. If she's there for you, she's there for you. If she don't deal with you, she just don't deal with you. And I understand why she does not deal with Jen and I don't feel that she has to uh, hash things out or uh, there's any closure that needs to happen or anything like that. Look, I don't deal with you. You don't deal with me. It's perfectly fine. So Tammy is sitting there listening to uh, Jackie tell the story and OG tell the story. Um, they start talking about Jackie brings up Phoebe or OG. One of them brought up Phoebe as far as, you know, OG confronting Phoebe and her backpedaling. All of a sudden, Jackie's memory comes too, right? Where she says, you know what, OG, I got a confession to make. 
when we were in the store, yada, yada, yada took place. Because remember, Jackie was in the store with Evelyn, Malaysia, uh, Phoebe, when they were shopping, when OG, they were cracking on her shirt, and OG was saying that she made up a song about her, yada, yada, right? Now, what ticked me off in that moment, see, this is what I mean about Jackie being a completely different person out of Tammy's presence versus when she is in Tammy's presence, because when OG confronted Phoebe, Jackie said nothing. When Phoebe tried to backpedal, Jackie said nothing. So all of a sudden now, you know, she wants to confess, and <laughs> Tammy in her confessional says, see... You know, Jackie's still, she didn't speak up for OG. She's not saying anything. And OG says, you know, you think I'm stupid? I know she said that. You know what I mean? I know. So it just made Jackie look like a doofus. You know what I mean? It really did. It's like, it's either you're going to stay completely out of it or you're going to speak up. You know what I mean? You, you, you flip flopping. So you said nothing that night because you wanted to be on, I guess, the popular side. I don't know. You know, so I, I thought that was a little bit pathetic. Um... We see Malaysia and, and Tammy, you know, Malaysia's trying to basically help her out with moves. And Tammy said, look, the way these hamstrings are set up, I can't pop it, pop it low and bring it, bring it back up. Okay. And she can't twerk and all this other stuff. So it's, it's good to see that she's getting support from Malaysia. I like the fact that Tammy is living her life. She's having so much fun. Now, don't get me wrong now. Tammy has come, when I say she's come a long way, I mean that as far as her temperament you know because in earlier seasons we've seen tammy bop bop bopping people we've seen tammy running across corridors we've seen tammy hemming up people's pocketbooks and making them beg her to give it back to them so we've seen tammy exhibit some nasty behaviors so it's really good to see that she's kind of evolving um and she's a lot more cautious um about her reputation on this show because look, she's here to secure a bag. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But she is older, you know, she's a married woman now. You know what I mean? And I love the fact that she's just basically, she's grown up basically. You know what I mean? To say the least, for lack of a better phrase, she's grown up. And it's very refreshing to see. But she's still not for the BS, don't get me wrong. Okay, so Jen, Evelyn, and Kristen's phony behind have brunch or lunch or whatever it is and they're talking and um Kristen decides to inform Jen that uh CC is not really OG's friend. You know, the lunch started out like, well, what's good with OG? Like, I don't understand Evelyn. I don't get it. Do you not like Kristen? I thought you were cool with Kristen. Act well, you know what? No, they're not cool because they had it out, right? Because basically Evelyn tried to call uh, not Kristen, Cece. Evelyn tried to call Cece basically like a, a, a prostitute, you know, or, or that her business was a brothel. And then I thought they were cool, but then I guess not. I don't know. I know that she doesn't like OG for whatever reason. She has no real reason to have an issue with OG, but camera time, you know, they fighting for camera time. It is what it is. So Kristen has information in her phone uh, where Cece is calling OG ugly and says that she looks like a man and all this other stuff. Now, let me pause here. Kristen, you know, you are so pathetic. You are really pathetic. I just, I didn't think that you could get any lower, but you are proving how scary you are and how pathetic you are. And you are trying to draw like, you know, uh, uh, alliances from every which away. You're so phony. So Kristen has text messages in her phone, but I want to know what it is that Kristen said. You know what I mean? Because this goes back to, I think the first season that Kristen and, um, OG were on the episode. Remember, Kristen was being real nasty to OG, saying all types of things like, you, you don't have kids, you're not basketball royalty, you don't, you don't have a ring, yada, yada. So I'm pretty sure Kristen calls Cece to initiate uh, a gossip session, you know, and Cece was trying to probably defend Kristen because they were tight at the time. And, ha, <laughs> so phony. And Kristen has the audacity to save Cece's text messages to try to use it against her now because they're not cool. But what did Kristen say? I want to see the whole text thread. What is it that Kristen said? So, you know, 
all this time you were holding on to this information, now all of a sudden, oh, I have it in my phone. Mm -hmm. Show what you said, Kristen. Pathetic. So Phoebe has her little corny showcase. Um, could care less because she's corny too. And uh, so they all meet up and this information is brought out at the little showcase. Before that though, OG gets to the showcase because Phoebe said she was inviting everyone. And like Tammy, Tammy says she's riding with OG literally and figuratively. They show up, they get there. Tammy is just not beat for the BS. Um, uh, Phoebe acknowledges OG. I mean, what am I saying? Phoebe, yeah, Phoebe acknowledges OG. Oh, hey, OG, you know. Oh, hi, you know, we don't get along. This is Phoebe. We don't get along. OG's not even thinking about you. You already showed, this is what I said last uh, commentary or recap. Didn't I tell Phoebe that she can't say nothing for the rest of the season? Why are you talking? Like, you too, you're a different person when Evelyn is not around. Like, what's wrong with you people? You guys can't think for yourself? So, OG says to Phoebe, you know, whatever, you know, I asked you last time if you made a song about me, you told me no, and I have information or proof that you did and all this other stuff. And then, um, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie says, oh, here I am. You know, uh, I was under the impression. Now Jackie was under the impression that the song was about OG. See, this is what I'm saying. And I can understand why Tammy gets frustrated with Jackie. Why are you backpedaling? When you were in the comfort of your own home, you told OG that you were there and she admitted to it. Of course, Phoebe is like, I don't want to talk about that. You never talked about it. So what are you talking about? Then she goes on to say in her confessional, I'm not about to mess up a million, a possible million dollar deal for this. Girl, please. Just admit that you said it and keep it moving. Like, you, we already know that you're a punk. Anyway. So, what is, who, somebody said something about Kristen. I don't know if it was Phoebe or something like that. Phoebe said something about Kristen. Trying to basically dodge the issue and not admit, you know, what she said. Because she thinks she's so tough. And OG says, you know, Kristen is my friend. And Jen comes out of the woodworks and says, no, she's not your friend. In walks Cece. Then OG asks Cece, has she ever said anything derogatory? To which Kristen shows OG the text messages. Of course, Cece feels like she's a victim. Tammy gets up and she's like, look, they have the text messages, Cece. Like, you just need to acknowledge and take responsibility for saying what it is that you said. Cece, I don't remember saying that. Oh, girl, this is why Tammy was just like, whatever. You know what I mean? She's just like so over it. This is why she doesn't want to be bothered. And, you, you know, Kristen, this is the part that annoyed me. Kristen pulls CC. I mean, Kristen pulls OG aside and basically tries to tell her that she doesn't want to fight anymore. And, you know, I guess she kind of halfway apologized. Listen to me, OG. This is my message. Message time, OG. Do not trust any of those frauds. Don't trust them because let me tell you something. Now Kristen is telling you, OG, that Cece is not your friend because she talked about you when in fact that gossip session was initiated by Kristen when she was mad at you and talking about how you look. So why should y'all be friends now? You know, I said it before. I'm, I keep saying that. Kristen and Cece are more alike than they realize and I think that's probably why they don't get along. I think that OG should keep it cute with Kristen and keep it moving. Do not think that that girl is your friend. Do not think Kristen is a friend to no one. No one. She's not a friend to Jen, even though Jen thinks that she was her friend. Wait until the reunion, until they all go back and see the footage and things that like Kristen did. Wait till Jen sees that stuff. No. OG, no. You can accept the apology and you can keep your distance and keep it moving. It doesn't have to be you know, tension when the two of you, uh, you know, uh, interact with one another and no more shots have to be taken, but I mm -mm, don't link up with her. Then you need to have a conversation with Cece. If you feel you need closure, I don't know what closure you would need. The proof is in the text message. Leave Kristen alone. She is phony. Cause now what Kristen is going to do now is try to use OG, right? To get back at Cece, the very same thing that they were t trying to tell OG that CC was doing 
to get at Kristen. So I'm, I'm mm -mm. and Tammy, I'm sure Tammy's going to be the, the, the voice of reason and school OG and tell her don't trust them hoes. Don't trust them. We saw Shaq in this episode. It was just really awkward. Shawnee, what's going on? You know what I mean? Now you're mentioning Shaq. Shaq is in the, in the episode and you know, they're a beautiful family. I get all of that, but he was being awkward, you know, flirting with them, with uh, Shawnee. The kids were looking all weirded out and stuff like that. So I don't know. I am not feeling, um, I'm not feel. I still don't like Kristen. Don't like her. Don't trust her at all. Evelyn, you are two faced. You are phony. Um, I tried to give you a chance in earlier seasons, uh, because no one's perfect, but you are disgusting. I think that you are, um, everything that everyone says about you pretty much. You don't like OG because of how she looks. She doesn't fit your standard of beauty and you're calling around to find out if her clothes are fake or real. You are so juvenile and it is ugly. It's unbecoming. I don't care how old you are or, or, or how old you aren't. And I feel sorry for Shanice the most, which is Evelyn's daughter, because she has to endure backlash because of your behavior and you being in the spotlight. So good luck to you, girl. I ain't knocking your hustle, but you are very nasty. Like you real nasty. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Miss me with that. So this was another recap of the basketball wives, honey. Um, next week, what, what did they show next week? Oh, Malaysia and Jackie are going to get into it. Lord have mercy. What, what did, what did Jackie do? Old Jackie Christie is back or the real Jackie Christie is back. She done started a rumor. She said something about Malaysia's kids or something like that. And Jennifer, look, I can understand that you like OG or whatever, but girl, you, you've been out the hot seat for two minutes and you all in, all have all this opinion. Jennifer is really snobby. Like, she's really snobby, right, y'all? I don't know. I, uh, You ladies, y'all need to kick it up. Because I'm tired of seeing this backpedaling and phony phony and people talking trash behind people's back. And when it comes to being in their face, they're scared and backpedaling. So, royal family, until next time, I love you for watching. Peace.